A verbal agreement is in place for a player to become the new mid laner of Team Vitality in the LEC for 2025. That sure sounds like a banger to me. And the best part about this breaking news is the fact that you will not find it anywhere else. This is part of what we're doing here on YouTube this offseason. The Sheep Esports team, our awesome reporters like Eros and Alejandro and LEC Wulu are bringing the stories to me first here on YouTube for me to tell you them uh, before you can find them anywhere else. So I am Germ, the host of Sheep Esports here on YouTube. Uh, and like like I said, today we're going to be talking about the verbal agreement for a player to become the new mid laner of Team Vitality in the LEC next season. But of course, first, as always, our offseason coverage is powered by Holy. Make sure you guys use that first link in the description below and use discount code SE5 uh, to get a nice little discount on Holy. Great tasting energy drinks that are healthier than the competition. Uh, I have my shipment on the way right now, so you guys should order yours today. With that being said, let's get right into the story today. I don't want to waste any more time. Here it is, the new man in the mid lane, the man with the verbal agreement in place uh, with Team Vitality. This is Kayek. I believe it's how you pronounce something like that. I'm American, so you're going to have to forgive me for the pronunciations, um, but this is the guy right here. A little bit about him. He is a 21-year-old Polish mid laner who last year was playing uh, for Vitality B in the LFL. This is obviously uh, Team Vitality's second team, their academy team, their ERL team, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and right off the bat, this obviously isn't the most like sexy signing in the world. This isn't some crazy banger, insane, nothing like that. Uh, and I don't necessarily know just how excited you should be about Kayek coming into the LEC right away and like really uh, putting on some kind of show. Uh, you can see here, according to our Sheep Esports ratings, they had him rated at a 61 out of 100 from the LFL uh, in last split. Uh, this is the summer split for the LFL of 2024, which would have put him as the seventh best mid laner in the LFL and the 30th best player overall. So it's not like he was exactly dominating in the mid lane. It's not like he was one of the best players in the LFLs or anything like that, but he is a player that obviously Team Vitality believes in not only because they had him in their academy team or secondary team or whatever in the first place but also now the fact that they uh, believe in bringing him up into the LEC now Obviously, uh, this past season uh, for Team Vitality uh, in the LEC wasn't that great, so it's not like they have a ton to lose. My face is covering this up. You can see Team Vitality in the summer split of the LEC uh, did go 2-8. and eight. They were last place. They were absolutely dead last. So obviously, some changes need to be made. They need to shake some things up. They either need to rebuild uh, or revamp or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so uh, obviously, going with Kayak in the mid lane is now a big part of that. He is uh, the second of their solo laners that they are now filling out. Uh, at least reportedly with agreements and all this stuff in place for uh, the, the next season. The other one of those being Nake Nako or Nak Nako. I don't exactly know how you pronounce this guy's name either. You guys keep trying me with these crazy pronunciations. But this guy right here, who's a 19-year-old Turkish top laner, um, that's the other guy who's reportedly uh, coming up from Vitality B to the main team. Now, uh, what I am being told by Alejandro is that Vitality is very, very excited about building through their academy team uh, and building these players up and, you know, like nurturing their own talent and and being able to utilize that, uh, I'm sure this is, you know, just my opinions and, and takes and stuff on this. I'm sure it's for a lot of reasons. One, uh, because you know what these players strengths and weaknesses are, you know, uh, what they like, what they don't like all that good stuff, but also it can end up being a little bit cheaper as well. Obviously if you sign them, uh, to your Academy teams and kind of work your way up rather than, uh, having to do some buyout from some team or having to sign some crazy free agent contract or whatever. So, uh, in that way it can also be good in a lot of different ways, but does seem like they're going to be going with some pretty young and inexperienced uh, solo laners for this next season, so we'll have to uh, see how that plays out. But like I said, uh, they already are coming off a last place finish, so it's not like uh, things can get much worse in that regard, and maybe they're going to be giving these players and these solo laners time to really mature and grow. Uh, like I said, neither one of these guys was actually was like dominant in the LFL last season or anything like that, so don't expect them to come onto the LEC stage and make a splash right away. Expect that it's going to take time. Expect that it's probably going to be a slow start, but uh, hopefully they have a bright future ahead of them. Hopefully this will end up being um, some good pickups uh, for Team Vitality, but we'll have to wait and see uh, about all of that. Now, what I am being told, of course, uh, also by the, the Sheep Esports team is that there was one other person considered for this position. Uh, Vitality was deciding between two mid laners to become their starting mid laner uh, for this next season, and that other guy that they were considering was actually Niski, and that is so, so interesting, because obviously of the two, this is um, closer to that sexy signing, that big, banger, exciting thing that would really get your fan base. Uh, excited. Niski was pretty good last season in the LEC, obviously being rated by Sheep Esports as the fourth best mid laner in the LEC, um, but uh, that is obviously coming off of SK. Uh, they did go 8-1 and one, uh, during the summer split uh, of the LEC, so they were obviously, they, they had a nice little run there, uh, but uh, obviously that ultimately led 
to uh, a little bit of a disappointing finish uh, in the LEC finals of 2024. You know, they didn't end up making it to Worlds or anything like that. They didn't end up fully uh, utilizing that great finish they had from that regular season. Uh, and it's not like the playoffs uh, went all that well for them either. So they had this great, amazing regular season that they weren't exactly able, uh, able to build off of. And now, obviously, with Niski being considered for this mid lane position, does that mean that Niski wants to leave SK? Does that mean uh, that SK maybe is ready to move on from Niski or has some other plans? I don't know exactly for sure. I'm not being told anything like that. All I've been told by the Sheep Esports team this far is that the future for Niski is uncertain, so it could mean possibly he's moving on, possibly he's going to stay, possibly there's going to be no spot for him. I don't really know at this point. We're going to have to wait and see there, uh, but they did tell me that Niski was considered uh, for this team vitality position. Uh, again, it didn't work out for whatever reason, or they just decided to go young. They decided to build up through their team. Like I said, I am being told that they're very, very excited about this academy project and, and building up their own pipeline of talent and players, and that's something that uh, this management of Team Vitality right now wanted to do, and that's obviously what they are doing. Um, this also, of course, means that VTO is going to be out of a job uh, in the mid lane. He's not going to be the starting mid laner for Vitality next season, obviously, uh, and like I said, he uh, was... A couple years ago, this really, really exciting, crazy player that's like carrying uh, misfits all over the place and stuff like that. But obviously, um, he's had a pretty steep fall off since then uh, with the Sheep Esports ratings having him as the eighth best mid laner uh, in the LEC and 43rd best player overall, which is such a steep, steep, steep fall off. It'll be very interesting to see what his uh, future has in store, whether he'll be, whether he will, um, I don't know if Vitality is going to hang on to him and just bump him down. I don't know if he's going to end up in the ERLs. I don't know if he's going to get one more chance in the LEC and a chance to prove himself. Maybe he needs to go back down to the ERLs and kind of build up his confidence and build up his skill set again. I don't know, uh, but of course, this does mean that VTO is getting replaced. The VTO experiment in Vitality is over. Like I said, they went 2-8. and eight. It's not like anything went all that well. They are kind of blowing... Uh, a lot of these different pieces up and, and, and going to be making some changes. Of course, it is also going to be interesting uh, to see for Team Vitality uh, what else, uh, what other changes they decide to make. Photon uh, is set to be a free agent, uh, but obviously they have their replacement in the top lane for him uh, with Nick Nako, uh, and they now have their replacement in the mid lane as well, but they do have uh, Hillisang, who is about to be a free agent, so his contract's going to be up. It'll are they going to bring him back? Is he going to move on? Whatever. Um, but then uh, they have Karzy signed until 2026. They have Linkus. They have uh, Daglas uh, signed until 2025. Linkus signed until 2026. So uh, are they going to go promote some more ERL players in some of these other positions? Are they going to make some kind of big free agent splash? Obviously, if they were considering Niski, maybe it's possible. Um, I would love to hear who you guys uh, think uh, Team Vitality should go out and try to get in these remaining positions. Should they hang on to their, their team that they already have at Jungle? and AD Carey? Uh, should they re-sign Hillisang? Should they go young? Uh, that's going to be interesting to see. We don't know exactly yet, but what we do know is, like I said, Kayak has a verbal agreement to become the starting mid laner for Team Vitality next season. Niski was considered, but it didn't work out, and they're definitely excited about uh, bringing up Team, Vita Team Vitality B members uh, and letting them grow and flourish, hopefully, throughout the organization. So those are a couple of the key takeaways from this whole thing. Like I said, for Niski as well, um, he his contract's not up. He is still signed with SK for one more year, so it's not like set in stone that he's going to be leaving the team or anything like that. Uh, just because he was considering or looking at other options doesn't mean that SK is not an option for him next season, uh, but that's also going to be a story we're going to have to see how that all plays out. But big banger, exciting breaking news. The offseason rumors and leaks and all that stuff is starting. Roster Mania uh, is officially underway, uh, and this is the spot, Sheep Esports on YouTube. This is the spot where you're going to be able to find everything first. The big banger stories, they're going to come bring them to me. I'm going to deliver them to you guys, and then they're going to put them out everywhere else. Um, so make sure you subscribe. Make sure you come back and check this channel, uh, and make sure you show us some love. Make sure you buy some Holy as well, because they're uh, really allowing us to do all the stuff that we want to do on YouTube and help us grow our channel. Um, so we appreciate them a ton. So hopefully you guys show them some love and buy some stuff. First link in the description below, discount code SE5. Uh, that's pretty much it for this video today, but I'm sure there's some spicy stuff coming very, very soon. Uh, so hopefully catch you guys in the next one. Until then, peace.